Hey yo together and very welcome to the Star of 2 Crazy Replay where we have a TVC today and I failed to remember the name of the map. <sighs> yeah, I have no clue which map it's it's called. Um maybe it's Blackpink, but I'm definitely not sure. However, in the bottom right hand corner we have the blue star gets barcode. And in the top left hand side it's me in red, Alexa Shur as Terran. And yeah, I don't know exactly why I've chosen to get this replay done, but it says Crazy Replay TVZ2. Um so yeah, that's that's definitely what we are gonna observe today. Um yeah, and because it's an older replay, I wasn't able to get everything done and perfectly, so I had to lock off Battle.net. You can't watch old replays as soon as the patch is out, that's so annoying. However, for me it looks like we have a Rex Gas Expand, so I, I am going back to... Um, to the... Uh, two Rex opening drop, as it looks like. Uh, potentially very strong, but can fail a lot. You need to have perfect multitasking like Maru style to really make it work however if you can do so it's very strong and for that we have standard um, expansion hatch pool gas standards of so far overlords on the way to each other I'm getting my command center right now and the reaper there I didn't scout at all so that's the thing with the um, build I'm playing currently and just in case he opens a pool first and goes aggressive on your command center, I would recommend pull 10 SCVs. 10 is like a good number, with 12 eh, it can work, but 10 is pretty damn good. You lose of course a little bit of mining time, but you can save the command center, you don't lose too much, and he limits himself with getting the pool first and 6 circlings which you can kill, and 6 circlings are like 150 minerals. Which is roughly, I would say, what you lose if you pull the SCV, so it should be a little bit even, however your command centers earlier. If you can manage to pull it through, not getting interrupted at all, which is really strong there. And yeah, here we have the Reaper, pew pew pew, go go go, there's a grenade, the KDA charge, wasted. And my micro and multitask, as you can see, is garbage as hell, it doesn't work at all. But yeah, here we have the barracks, the factory, the second gas going on, no base so far for this. Barcode, who almost gets the wrap around there and the kill, but I get one circling, so that was okay. Queen is out, will inject, Queen is out, will inject. Another KDA charge, damages the unbuildable rocks, it should get taken out soon, probably, or maybe not, I don't know. And yeah, tech lab, factory, standard stuff for me. If you go for the 60 marine drop with the two medivacs, very strong, uh, definitely can recommend it. Stim pack, go, go, go. It's a little bit late, I'm microing my heart out here, and that definitely is not good at all. You should uh, get a second circling, not too bad, but with the queen I think you should be able to get the hatchery done no matter what. Maybe I can kill the circlings, no I can't, speed is ready, you don't know why he pulls back, he could kill the reaper but he doesn't want to, so he'd rather choose to go across the map with the circlings. So let's follow them, uh, more queens going across, no uh, not going across, more queens are being produced. And for me, of course, then the starport and the reactor, so... There we go, he sees the marines. Um, I won't be able to get any overlord here, this is safe. And that one is safe as well. But you always can check, it's risky of course. But with good scouting, you can manage to pull it off without ga getting... Interrupted here or... Uh, ambushed. And then your marines die all to, mari uh, to, to circlings, which would be instantaneously GG. Drone-wise it's looking okay, I'm only 3 SCVs left behind, so pff, perfect stuff for me. Currently with the, with the macro. And yeah, you just get 60 marines with stim, move across the map and kill the surf. That's basically what, what could happen. Uh, most likely you get a creep tumor and that's it. If you're lucky and good enough. However, this build can end the game if executed properly or mis-executed by the Zerg part. If he doesn't have enough queens and circlings, it can be very strong. So here it comes, wants to attack, uh, doesn't quite get it. Uh, will get a cancel here, yep, there he goes. Loses a circling, scouts it, and now he knows. So the medivacs are out, and if I wouldn't have failed so much with the build, I normally should be across the map right now. 
Meh, not the case here. Gets the Baneling Nest. Slow Banelings can work against this. Normally they shouldn't, but with enough Circlings it can. Um, 27 Circlings is okay, but I have faced Zerk who go up to 8 Queens and 40 Circlings to defend this attack, which is also very strong. But we will see how it plays out. So Stim is ready, 60 Marines with the Medivac, good creep spread, could be a little bit better, but it's it's decent enough I would say. And there we go, there we go. Big attack, mist transfusion, another mist transfusion, there comes oh, three queens in total for only losing four four marines, that's worth it. So he creep spreads again, and this is what you want to deny if possible. Behind that, taking another base. I have my double E base on the way soon because I needed to catch up with his upgrades. He wants to get speed soon. Should saturate the gases. There we go. And yeah, you can status that as long as possible. Try to not lose SCV uh, marines if you do so. Right? Normally, you shouldn't lose any marines. Now, this. I lost most marines here. Seven marines dead. If I would have had those other seven marines, this drop would be way more powerful. Um, but yeah, I can't. I can't do much. I should pull back. And just uh, get my army done, move across the map, and you need to macro up as heavy as possible. Saturate the gases, that's okay. The good thing is, I am almost ahead in worker, so we are even, which means my income should be very nice. And it is, I would say. So that's, that's looking nice. He's going up into Hive just now, which is a little bit late. I don't know why it's crazy. This, this TVC. Um, I'm losing a lot here. <laughs> that was so bad. Yep, not worth it. But that's that's how it is. You don't want to lose your, SA, uh, your Marines. Um, you want them for the follow-up push, which I currently can't do at all. So, yeah, that's, that's bad. At least I get an Overlord. Can maybe Supply Cap him a little bit, but not for long, only for a couple of seconds. Um, is speed done? No speed for his Banelings, which is a big mistake. His one, one is earlier than mine. He will attack there soon, but I don't think that that's a smart move. Uh, potentially it is. Oh, just the mules drops. How many worker will he get? Uh, that's not looking too... Oh, no. Oh, that's... Oh, no. <laughs> not like this. Okay, that wasn't too good at all. Losing those circlings. He didn't deal any real damage. Just a little bit of lost mining time on oh, the mules as well. It did hurt, but wasn't the worst, so... It's still open, his creep spread could be way better, to be honest, but we are all no Grandmaster player here. So I think it's fine, he needs to creep spread a little bit more. 2-2 uh, two -two on the way, as I said, my 1-1 one -one is just not finished yet, which is bad. Finally he gets beat, he gets Hydralisk then as well, and there is where the trouble starts. Um, normally you want to creep everything, you know, but... I, I don't know if it's wise to block your own expansion here, but he does, and he should see it. He sees that drop, he sees that drop, the queen is intercepting it, don't think I can do much there. Um, I might even lose this medivac if I'm not careful enough. I can go in here, clear two creep tumors, which is okay, but not perfect. Maybe I can get in and kill a queen. There we go, up into the main. Okay, and yeah, this queen is super dead, and this drop is not doing too much. I can trade some circlings for, for a marina there, then I can clear some creep. That's what you need to do. Normally you want to do a uh, third push as well to really force good multitasking out of the circ and force mistakes. Wasting your marines like that is not worth it. So, in total, yeah, but no. And income wise, he's now on a good drone count, I would say. It's looking nice. His Hydralis are out, he gets the Evolved Grooved, Grooved Binds, whatever that does. Uh, more attack range and then the Muscular Augments, more speed. Uh, nice creep clear here, very important, not getting those two tumors, which is a little bit sad. And I need to be careful on, on the Hydralis here. So his 2 is like one minute ahead of mine, which is very bad. I'm going into Starport, it looks like. One Starport there. Only one starport? Okay. And finally taking a fourth base, which I definitely need with the oversaturation uh, on that base. And soon on others as well. So there's a multi drop to the left and a single drop to the right, and then there should be this push, 
where I go across the map in the middle of it and try to attack and deal damage. There we go. Very nice. I do have the concussive shots, which is really important, and he has the hydrolyst range, the baneling, speed upgrade, and I. It looks like I'm going for Widow Mines here with the Drilling Claws. So I can clear a little bit here, I can stim in here and try to kill something. Splits need to be good. Uh, oh, that Widow Mine was really well done there. It looks like I can't get a hatchery, he needs to pull back. Uh, he clears that, loses a queen in the process, loses another queen here. And the base, that would be rated a successful attack in my opinion. Clearing some circlings, still my 2-2 is late, so this attack Normally it should be 2-2 against 2-2, at least, but here it's 1-1 against 2-0 and 2-2, so that's very bad. I get another queen, and I still can clear a lot of circlings here in the main base, which is good for me. Uh, upgrade should kick in soon, but I need to pull back those medivacs, unless I want to get them killed. He's op there we go. He's opting to go into hive tech, but he lost a lot there. He's now down in supply. Um, his injects are not really looking good. He doesn't have much income, and... Um, bank left, so remaking this is expensive. That is, however, if you would catch that, really good. Um, I don't think he can attack there. Uh, he shouldn't try it. Don't try it. No. Oh no! <laughs> That's so expensive. I mean, it's just circlings, but still, it's a lot of larva, you know. Um, 13 circlings are like 6 larva. Ouch! That hurts. And he doesn't have much. At all. One, two lava. That's nothing. So, even killing just circlings, if he doesn't have perfect macro, it can hurt him. Lava is one kind of resource you want to have a circle and you want to maintain it properly. At least his creeps rate on the left hand side is really good, so I was not active enough. And that's the thing, I'm idle now. I am, as a Terran, pretty idle now. I do have a drop here, he doesn't have overlord speed, nice to know, but not a big deal. And. Yeah, there is not much I can do. I will lose this force entirely. Um, yeah. And I'm not doing much here in the process, so that's not what I want to do, to be honest. I should be way, way better in, in keeping the Zerg back. I'm wasting, or at least spending, a lot of scans uh, to clear the creep, which I need, but there he comes. Ah, baits a bit of mine shot, not too bad. And his upgrades are looking solid on the Hydrolisk, and lots of Hydrolisks are really strong. They are glass cannons, yes, somewhat, but still, they can deal lots of damage. And Vitamines don't work that well against them. Tanks are good, but need proper protection against uh, anything, like Circlings and uh, the Blinding Cloud of the Viper. So it's not looking too good here. Um, he definitely would need to, to check and got a 5th base, maybe a 6th one. We are so far in late game. And he doesn't have 3-3 three, three on the way either. He just got the lair. He doesn't have gotten a hive so far. And I don't think he should attack into that. Um, there's a planetary fortress and it's dealing a lot of damage. 5 kills on it. Yeah, that's nice. And it's 2-2 two, two against 2-0. Two, so, I should be able to win this fight, even though it's a little bit close, but my macro looks solid enough to do it, and I'm going for Ghost. And finally I remember why this replay was crazy. Um, it wasn't really, but it's, it's okay. I would say it's a solid TVC, not the best one, of course, but good enough. And we will see what, what, what it does here. So, finally lifting the main base to the fifth base, which is risky because it isn't a planetary fortress, but that's what it is now. He gets the hive tag way too late, but at least he gets it, and he will be behind in upgrades. Those few circlings, that's a good thing I got a bunker, very important. He might be able to kill a depot here, but those circlings are not doing much here, to be honest. He scouts the Ghost Academy, and he might go in and kill Zon thing but yeah not not really he now goes into the fifth base and he basically just scouts around a little bit which is totally fine army wise I'm looking solid and with the ghost with the addition of the ghost I can deal a lot of good damage because the ghost the ghost deals a lot of damage here with 100 zip 170 damage ignores armor if it lands and <laughs> snipe is really powerful I don't have Cloak, which is unfortunate, but I do have a lot of Widow Mines, 8, 
that's also not, not bad. Uh, I, I would like to have more Liberator, but probably I would say it's looking okay. So there goes another scan, and wow, this drop totally lured him away from where I want to attack. That's what you want to do. Uh, as well as against Protoss, he finally gets into Spire. I'm not sure if that's working. And there we go, there's the big attack coming in, and he's taking a lot of damage. It looks like I need to pull back here. This goes. Might die. The Widow Mines, however, dealing some damage. Not too bad. Uh, does this ghost go away? Uh, probably. I might get some damage here. Mm, yeah, he needs to remake the spawning pool. If I can the Hydralisk, then that would be nice for me. And his income isn't looking too good, I have to say. Um, eh, okay. So I killed the Hydralisk then, which needs to be remade as well. He's catching up on upgrades now with his 2-2, but I got 3-3. I didn't take those gases, which he probably wants to take if he goes up into Spire. He has the drones, but yeah, oversaturation there, oversaturation there, he needs to fix that. And there we go, another big attack coming in. And I still don't have Cloak, but... Oh, there we go, Sniperino action! And you see how much damage the ghosts deal. They can't just snipe every single Hydralisk there while the bio uh, trades and in the end, snipe is a really good ability. Like 5 kills on that ghost, 2, 2, 5, 6, 3, 3, 2. I would have loved to have Cloak. Um, if you can, if you can Cloak, if you can kill this, those detectors, those Overseer. Then you have free reign on his army, which would be nice. But in this case, it wasn't necessary, and then he loses. So ghost, ghost can be very powerful against Hydralis because um, if you get the snipes off, they inst they are one shotting. So in theory, one ghost could kill four Hydralis um, within those six seconds. That's a lot. Just imagine all those ghosts. Eight ghosts. Each can kill four. That's 30 Hydralis. That's 3000 minerals and 1500 gas in six seconds deleted. That's a lot. If you can't get them off and you don't need to cloak, of course. But yeah, that's it with that episode. I hope you enjoyed. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope I wish you a very nice day and goodbye. Hey, oh there. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions, put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye-bye.